Move by points, activated via Shift-M on your keyboard, does more than its name would imply. Its main purpose is to distribute or duplicate objects in a specified direction. The first mode, Move Mode, requires two clicks. The first click sets where the first duplicate will be, and the second click will determine the location of the first duplicate. All subsequent duplicates will be that specified distance away from one another. The number of duplicates to be created is controlled in the toolbar in the Number of Duplicates field. This is how many more duplicates will be made. The original object is not included in this total. The second mode, Distribute mode, also requires two clicks. The first sets the location of the first duplicate, but the second sets the location of the last duplicate. All of the other duplicates will be evenly spaced between the first and second clicks, wherever they're placed. Reference point mode is used to move an object to a specific location or to a location along a line between two points. Reference point mode requires two clicks. One object point, where the object is, and one reference point, where the object will be. But the clicks do not need to be on the object itself. For example, I want to move this object to exactly midway between where it currently resides and the locus point. I'll click the object first. This first click determines the point the object will be moved by. You can choose the edge of an object, its center, or anywhere else on the object. Then click the locus. A dialog box appears and will display the actual distance between the two objects. If I were to change this to zero, the object would simply move from its current location to the locus point. However, if I undo that action, then click the object and locus again, the same dialog will appear. This time, I change the value to half the total distance. The object will move halfway between the first click and the second click. The distance here is how far the object will be from the reference point after the move is completed. In the dialog, I can change object to reference point, allowing me to click the locus first, then the object. These are simply two methods of using the tool. Their end result is the same, regardless of which way you choose. The reference point mode is especially useful for moving objects inside walls to specific distances from other objects nearby, or in the same wall without the object removing itself from the wall it's currently inserted in. The next mode in the toolbar is object retention mode. This option determines whether the original object is kept after the move is complete, effectively changing this tool from a move tool to a duplicate tool. Creating a copy of the original in the new location rather than simply relocating it. This is a settings toggle that affects the main modes of the tool and can be turned on or off at any time. The Move by Points tool has a number of different applications and will work on nearly any object. Never draft an object repeatedly and then align them by hand before looking to this tool for a faster solution.